Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Our morning outlook will focus on the BTC USD, recent developments, and the potential impact on the markets. Let's hear from Greg in our trading room. The Bitcoin dollar pair exploded 1.5% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The last session saw the gold rise 0.3% against the dollar. The ROC is giving a positive signal. Facebook's stock rose 4.5% in the last session, after gaining as much as 4.8% during the session. According to the stochastic indicator, we are in an overbought market. The Aussie dipped a slight 0.2% against the dollar in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. Coming up, today's major financial news. World stocks rallied to their highest level since mid-December after China reopened its borders and benchmark treasury yields hovered near three-week lows as investors scaled back expectations for further rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. Another one of Sam Bankman-Fried's former confidants and roommates is said to be engaging with the U.S. Attorney's Office with the hope of getting a plea agreement. Nishad Singh, FTX's former director of engineering and a housemate of Bankman-Fried, is said to have met with prosecutors in a proffer session. The global economy is perilously close to falling into recession, according to the latest forecast from the World Bank. It expects the global economy to grow just 1.7% this year, a sharp decrease from the 3% it predicted in June. And now, let's review some of today's world economic events. The US MBA mortgage applications will be released at 1200 hours GMT. The US EIA crude oil stocks change at 1530 GMT. Australia's retail sales at 0 hours and 30 minutes GMT. Japan's Coincident Index will be released at 0500 hours GMT. Italy's retail sales at 0900 hours GMT. Germany's 10Y bond auction at 1030 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day.